good Thursday morning. So we're up. It's a beautiful sunny day. We had that rainy night last night. Um, and we're cleaning up our little home. Ran out of water in our water tank, but there's a well over here. We did not bring, we're finding all kinds of stuff that we need to get or didn't bring. So this is our first trip ever. We didn't bring anything really to get water and move it over to our tank. So Lance has got um, a five gallon gas can that we haven't had to use. So we're gonna fill that up and then put it into our fresh water tank. Um, beautiful day out though. A little chilly, but it feels great. Um, tons of hummingbirds around and just all out beautiful, beautiful weather, blue skies. Um, so we're gonna pump ourselves some water and get that in our RV and then possibly make some breakfast next. Pumping up five gallons into there, holding it up and putting it into our tank. Only eight more to go and we'd have a full tank. I don't think that's going to happen now. Whew. Finished our dishes. Hi, Daisy Mae. And time to make some breakfast. Oh, let's make a sandwich all out. Mm -hmm. So, on the road with the cat. So we had a little box. And we were trying to figure out how we wanted to have the litter in here. So Lance drilled a hole into the RV there with a little swinging door and we made a litter box underneath the garage area and be perfect for her. Um, but she did not want to go in it. She had a little door handle there or door and she didn't want the, like the flap. She didn't want to go in there. She's super scared to go in there. So we put her little portable litter, which I have in the car in case she has to go. And we just have that, um, here under her cat tree and that's what she's been using, but it just looks yucky to have that there and everything. So we came up with a plan. Maybe she would go if we um, taped the door up because I think it's pushing the door. She doesn't understand. And one time we got her to go in there, she wouldn't push to get out. So what we did is we put up the door and she went in there, which is awesome. But now she thinks it's a space just to sit and hang out. So let's see what she's doing in here. So there's Daisy hanging out in the area we want her to have for her litter box. So it's good that she's actually in there and she's feeling comfortable to walk in there on her own. So that was really exciting. Um, I put a little bit of her um, litter droppings in there so she would smell and know that's what it is. Um, so it'd be great if she starts using that, but I don't want her just to sit there and hang out and hide. We've been calling her and she doesn't come out. So we're afraid that if we want to take her somewhere, she's going to go hide in there. Um, we can get it out by, um, picking up our bed and getting to it from there, but that's a pain. So what I did is I removed her old litter box for the first time and put it outside and this will be the only place she'll be able to go now. So we'll see how that goes. We're going to take a walk and hopefully she'll realize that's her litter box and she'll go in there if she needs to go and then not hang out in there because she likes it as a hiding spot. So we'll see how that goes. Another beautiful day. And here's the view from our camper door. So peaceful. Cows be bringing up the rear. This is where we're gonna go. We think there's gonna be a big payoff down there. Look at this. Let's go, buddy. We just came down that. Altitude, we're having a problem walking up the three steps to our camper, so this is gonna be a treat. We actually got tired of coming down. <laughs> it's gonna take us two hours to get back up. Look at, look at this. 
Look at this, B. I know, it's making a difference. Oh. Everything's so lush and healthy. Away from pollution. This is just gorgeous. The mountains up here. You ready? I'm ready. See if we have a good payoff here or not. Wow. Look at that. But this just goes for quite a while. This is beautiful. What a perfect place to lay in our air hammocks. <laughs> Look at this. This is nuts. We are like right on the edge. Tad bit peaceful. Did you say Lance man? Oh, amazing. And look at that. Well, that's a comfortable cat. <laughs> you don't have to get up, Daisy. Oh, you don't have to get up. Oh, hi. You look so warm and comfortable. You could have stayed there. <laughs> so I am writing in my journal. Um, Lance and I decided we're going to do some journaling um, of our trip and different moments and stuff. It's kind of getting dark outside. And I hear thunder um, in the background. Just waiting here, thinking of the memories and being thankful to be here. It's just a wonderful, wonderful moment. Got my sweet little kitty sleeping. My guy's sleeping over there. I don't know if you can hear the thunder rumbling. It doesn't look like it's going to come over us. It looks like it's kind of on the outskirts. Wow, it's just so peaceful. There's B calling to the moose. Ah. <laughs> Aww. Look at him go. He is big. So we're back from our drive, seeing an awesome moose. It's sunny again. It's awesome. And our cat is still in the same position. Let's take a look at her. Hey, Lance. Hello. Look what we're doing tonight. Roasting hot dogs. B set this whole thing up. Baked beans, got all the toppings. She made a fire. <laughs> all I had to do was set the chairs up. Look at our sky. Gorgeous. I'm come swing around here. And there's our sunset. This looks fantastic. Ooh, this is our first dinner cooked over the fire. It is. So I just had dinner. We'll put a few more little logs on Bee's fire. 
got all these beautiful flowers around. Look who came up for her first flyer ever. And B just went and got Daisy. Look how good she's being. Who's out for her first fire? Hey, Daisy. Hi. It's your first fire ever. Hi, Daisy. Ever. What do you think? What do you think about your first fire ever, oh, ever, boy. ever? Oh, she's. The homie can't even put her near the door. She'd freak out. This cat has grown and, and grown and changed so fast. The next morning, we headed out of Medicine Bow and made our way west toward a town called Rock Springs. We found a little KOA there, and this was the first KOA we stayed at on our trip. We had stayed in one before over in Devil's Tower. Back from doing a little bit of shopping at Walmart. We don't like to go into those stores with the COVID stuff, but we had to get a couple little things, little ancillary things, a couple other little things. Um, my meals are still doing really good though. We came back and look at that. Look at the kitty. I had a pillow in her bed. So she found a really comfortable little spot on the bed. <laughs> She's so cute. Lance has been cold, so he had to get an extra blanket because apparently these were not enough. <laughs> so a couple of little extra vegetables, some more bread, little paper plates treats for Daisy, lighters, a couple little things like that. And we're going to do a chicken tonight. So I don't... Okay, she's sleeping. Right here where Lance is sleeping. And I'm going to call Joe and get her grocery order and order her groceries for delivery on Myers. Back in Grand Rapids. Um, staying at the KOA. Cool little foothills. Cute little place, but we got all our water and electric and internet to get some things done. Good okay. Saturday morning. We are headed out of a KOA, which was actually super nice. This is only our second KOA, and I had a chance to go swimming in a warm pool. Yeah, turn left. Um, so Lance and I have fun there. Here's where we stayed. Cool hills in the background. What's your papa doing? What's your papa doing, Daisy? Papa's out there getting gas. great little place to stay in Boulder, Wyoming, a place called Wind River Creek. It was great, they had lots of space, no reservations, and had full hookups actually. Lance had a chance to pull his drone out, um, we've only used it a couple times, and get some neat sights. They had a nest right here for an osprey, it was really cool and you could hear the birds, the baby birds chirping. Um, and there's our little camper. We had a great view over this little ridge and then wide open spaces and mountains all around. Sitting outside, relaxing. My little buddy. She's loving it, aren't you, Daisy? Oh yeah, all kinds of birds. We're watching that osprey up there. Um, Lance is taking a little nap and we're just enjoying the outside. Look at our little setup. <laughs> Just relaxing out here. I want to start working on some videos. I haven't started to put together any videos from our trip and it's been a week and a few days. So I want to get some of those put together for some memories and to share with some people. And it is just gorgeous out. Beautiful wind. Um, just absolutely gorgeous. And the other direction I'm looking, 
you can start seeing some of the Teton Mountains. <laughs> I think she's liking it. Look at that face. Look at that face. She's so cute. <laughs> How you doing, bud? <laughs> oh, so we go up, up. high. Let's go up. When others take low, we go high. Ooh, getting bumpy. Can't see over the hill, which is our favorite thing. What's over the hill? <laughs> oh, it's going up higher. Look at this. All that sagebrush. Okay, look at that for a view. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, back roads are awesome. People that just stay on the main freeways and main highways, you just don't know what you miss on the side roads. Sweeping. <laughs> this is incredible. Okay. I got demoted. I'm gonna drive with me. <laughs> Someone else wants to take a turn. You never get to sit and relax and look at sights because you're always driving. Well, and you never get to drive down the back road, so it's kind of nice. Let's we'll see how she does. We're going the real off-roading. We're going to do the sagebrush in a minute. Yeah. This is just beautiful. Right there is where we saw the moose. I just don't even know what to say right now. We've seen so many pretty things. Okay, we can't, I came up with a name. We, we came up with a name. Off the beaten path. That's our new name for our travels because that is what we do. That represents us. Off the beaten path. You have no idea how many beautiful things you see when you just travel the side roads. I mean, we've got the Tetons and Yellowstone National Park up there. Amazing. It's, it's crowded, full of people and stuff. We're staying in Boulder, hour and 40 minutes south of the park, in a cool, our cool little camper space. And we are just exploring these, and we're getting to see Tetons in a totally different way. Oh my gosh. Which one do we want to do? Okay, this, this is, I feel like I'm in a dream. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying. There they go. Oh my god, okay, I gotta show you this. Like, are you kidding me? This is just gorgeous. Look at those mountains shut up. Oh my gosh. And we're just going to this tiny little town of 170, and you just go on some back roads, and look what you get to see. Just look at this. Oh, oh, look. We are in Boulder, Wyoming. Heading towards Boulder Lake. Where is Boulder Lake? I don't know, but we're going to try to find it. Oh my gosh. And if Boulder Lake is warm and awesome, I'm swimming in my clothes. <laughs> I am. Um, that's what we do. That's how we roll, that's Miller how Man. We, roll. we are being spontaneous. Oh, wow. This is cool. Okay, right here. There's a whole field of tons and tons of quail. Look up ahead. Wait, you can eat quail eggs. Yes, but look up ahead. What's you've up always, ahead? You've always wanted to see a cow crossing. Oh my god, I'm gonna see a cow crossing. Look at a cattle crossing. Look at look at in front of you. <gasps> this is a real out west cow crossing. Oh my 
gosh. Oh, look at, look at. Oh, oh, he's just watching. Oh my gosh. We're in the middle of an out west thing and there's cow. Oh, wow. Wow. There's a little guy just standing in the road. Wow. Oh, here, hang on to this lance. I gotta take a couple. Look at this little guy. Oh, look at the little one run. Oh, wow. No, looking at me mooing. Come on. <laughs> And he's watching me and he's got like look at this little guy it's just well he's got like gr grass hanging out oh this little guy's just stood here the whole time he has not moved you did pretty good oh yeah you handled yourself well buddy do you hear that mooing oh there's a big one in the road there oh yeah there's one brown one Oh, look at he's looking at his little guy. Look at this little guy. <gasps> Get him. He's like, I don't appreciate you. It's not too high, is it? Oh, well, look at, look at. Hi, Bubba. Hi, 512. Oh, wait. Are you 512? Oh, you're such a sweetheart. Hi. Yeah. Hi. You're such a sweetheart. Hi, buddy. Yeah, you're okay. Yeah, you're okay. You're okay. He's curious. Yeah, I know. Oh, you're a big one. I know. Oh. I know. That's a lot of noise. We're all looking. Honey, look at that off-road. Wanna take it? Absolutely not. Oh, he's big. He's a he. He's got big swinging balls. I'm taping this. Sorry. Oh my god, he's big. Hi, buddy. I love cows. I'm a vegetarian. Look at that road. What are all the, there's a bunch of babies in there. The other thing about this area is all the sage has just the greatest smell. It's like you burnt sage incense everywhere. Woo, we're still going down here. This road is amazing. We're so glad we turned down it. Look at this. We feel like we're in a foreign oh, country. Okay, so what is that? We're going back by the cow. Oh, there's a big cow just sitting there by the gate. Going back to our herd. Wow. Look at that little guy. He's hiding in the sage. <laughs> Stand off here. The other one's giving me the butt. Look at the rain come down in the distance. Bye, cowies. Watch where you're walking, B. Pay attention. It's colder once in a while. What do you think, babe?
I don't I just can't stop looking at it. This is like it's like a dream. I know, it's beautiful. Look, look at it. It's beautiful. I could just sit here and stare. Well what about quesadillas? <laughs> You'll get your quesadillas, bud. <laughs> I love this. I knew it was going to be a great sunset. I am so excited. Are you ready? You, you got to see what I'm seeing. It's a double rainbow. You don't see the second one? Oh, I do. Yeah, look at how vibrant that is right there. There's a huge rainbow. It's starting to fade. And... She has just been sprinting around. She must have run uh, over a hundred yards already. There's a big osprey nest up there. Mom and pop up there. And uh, dad will bring a fish about the size of himself. There goes me running to the next destination to get the photo. She's so excited. <laughs> uh, this is after about two hours of driving around and having her just crying because she's seen so many beautiful things. She's going to sleep like a rock tonight. She's been so emotional all day. Ah, oh, what a little character. I love her so much. Just want her to be happy. I don't know if you can see that very well through there. Unreal. Big stuff coming in. There she <laughs> just went running. Drone up earlier, kind of close to the osprey nest. I think the daddy started hunting the drone, so we bowed out. Look at her run! <laughs> Look at her run! Poor drone! <laughs> yeah, you know where she's running. She's just running all over the place. She's got the right light, so she's trying. Saw a moose earlier today. Just pulled off what looked like a beautiful river off the side of the road. And we come over the edge. There she goes running again. And there's a big moose there. She doesn't even know where she's running. running. She's just sprinting all over the place. Kind of a character. Hope she doesn't run into the wrong camper. I think that's what she's looking at. 
it's starting to rain. It's raining. It's starting to rain, baby. Ooh, what an exciting night. Looks like the storm blew over that direction. We all ran in because it was starting to rain. It looks like it's gonna miss us. It's kind of been lingering there for a while. Oh, it's a little windy though. Time to work on some photos. In for the night. Daisy, Daisy, are you doing work? Are you doing work up here? Hi! Hi! I thought she was working on Papa's computer.